Yo, 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 we've got Burton Alicondo, the prop stream expert, back on today. We're going to be digging into skip tracing. How can we find the phone numbers, the contact information for the properties that we see on the street? And we're like, damn, I wish I owned that thing. I wish I could contact the, the owner of that place and see if they want to sell to me. How can we find that information that's all done through skip tracing? And I do all of my skip tracing on PropStream. I am telling you guys, if you are not on PropStream, you need to get on PropStream. And today we'll show you a little bit of the reasons why Burton's going to dig into how to skip trace. Once you see this, if you're not doing it, you're going to be like, damn, I need to be doing that if I really want to <laughs> be a player in this game. So that is what we're going to dive into. Burton, glad to have you on today, brother. Thank you so much, Matt, for having me. And, and this is a very important topic, I think, personally. Uh, we live in a day and age where everyone has one of these. And trust me when I say it, back in the day, you had a knock to get a hold of someone. Today, you literally could build a list and in 15 minutes start talking to someone, which is just mind-blowing. So those that are watching, you have it much easier than investors back in the day. And so they're probably looking at you, the seasoned ones are looking at you like, you guys are spoiled. And that's that's the truth. I, I hate to say it, but that means you just need to take advantage of this technology. Uh, there's a lot of you I know that are watching this and you're not taking advantage. If I threw you back in the day where you didn't have this, would you even last if you can't even make a phone call today, right? So mm -hmm. I don't want to call anybody out, but that's just the reality of it. So I think this is a very important topic and let's go at it. So Matt, how do you want to approach this, man? Do you want me to build a list or go after the list that we went last time on our video? Uh, let's just pull a random list and show the people how we would go about skip traces. So, I mean, maybe one of those good lists, we could pull up the list for awesome stellar financing leads, which is something that everybody always wants to call on, right? So let's pull up a list of free and clear ownership. That's what we need for seller financing. And I would also like those to be failed listings. Um, yeah, so we pull up failed listings and then let's go ownership info. Let's only target the owners who own 10 properties or more. Perfect. 10 brilliance. There we go. We have 204 of them. So free and clear, they were for sale, but they failed on the market. They're owned by individuals. And to Matt's point, who have 10 or more properties. So now I'm going to hit close. Here are the 204 addresses that failed on the market. But these addresses are tied to an individual who has multiple properties. Ding, ding, ding. Mm -hmm. So now we just need to get a hold of that individual. And again, back in the day, we would knock on their door. But today, all you would have to do is check off on those, check off those addresses, add it to a list that you already have, or create a new one. All the OK failed listings. Hit save. And just so they see that, how did how did you create that list up, up top? That was just by clicking yeah. add to, to list. list so add to that's list. correct. So here on the right hand side, when you see your results, you'll have blank boxes that will allow you to click on any property address you want to save. So you can either check off individual addresses like I'm doing here, or if you want to click them all. There's a box by unique properties. Go ahead and click on all of them. And then add to list will allow you to save it to a list that you already have or create a new one. In the rare event, your list may be too large. Uh, we do have the filter button. And what that allows you to do is to filter through your results. You could say, hey, just show me numbers one through 100 only. I only have enough for 100 phone calls or whatever it may be. So you can do it that way as well. But once your list is saved, Go to my properties and look for your marketing list section and just make sure your list is there. So the rule of thumb is in order to skip trace, you have to have your list in this section. If you don't have anything in my properties, you're not going to be able to skip trace. Now, once you have your list, go ahead and click on skip tracing. Normally, your price point is 12 cents. You do, we do have a 10 cents price point if you have one of our upgrades called List Automator which I do, hence the 10 cents here, but 12 cents normally or 10 cents depending on your package. But once you click on skip tracing, follow three steps. Step one, select your contacts. Here at the top, choose your marketing list. So I'm gonna scroll down, 
find my okay failed listings. Once I select that list, all the homeowners names are in alphabetical order. Make sure the names that you want to skip trace are checked. Once they're checked, hit add selected contacts. If the names are in the bottom box, you're doing the right thing. If you change your mind for whatever reason, you can check the names and then hit remove selected and the names will go back to the top. But if you want to skip trace everybody, then you're doing the right thing if you see it like this. Burton, this question point, for you. The, uh, the, since we have multiple owners who own multiple properties in this list, you see we have like Deborah A yeah. um, there a bunch of times. Now, when we pay for the skip tracing, are we paying by lead or is it only going to charge you one time for the 10 properties that Deborah owns? Yes, one time. And as a matter of fact, that's a really good question. It will indicate what we're doing on the next screen. So to Matt's point, what he was highlighting is that Deborah here is on this area six times. And there are some providers out there that would actually charge you six different times because she owns six different properties and you're skip tracing six different addresses. Not with PropStream. Uh, we have an algorithm or logic that identifies that. And so when I hit done, and go to the next screen, which is the payment screen, PropStream will apply that logic and say, wait, timeout. What we discovered is that 44 contacts have been omitted due to duplicates. So if someone had multiple properties, having been appended already, meaning you've skip traced that address already, and so we're not gonna skip trace it again and charge you, or having insufficient information, like they're a corporation or an LLC that we're not able to obtain data from. So mm -hmm. to your point, you're absolutely right. See, our list had 204 initially, if you could see it here on the left-hand side, but 44 of them had been omitted for that very reason that Matt brought up. There were duplicates, not enough information, or I've already skip traced them before. So once the logic does its thing, it takes the remaining, multiplies it by your 12 cents or 10 cents in my case, and it tells you what your authorization amount is. So it's saying, hey, Burton, $16 is what we're going to put on your card for the time being. I'm going to place that order accept the terms and agreements. And then on the last page, the confirmation page, it's going to say, create your name. Now you can leave it the same name or create a new name. It's up to you. When you hit done, your skip tracing is complete. The next thing you want to do is head over to our contacts page. Do not go back to the My Properties page. So if there's anything, any advice I could give you right now when it comes to skip tracing is skip tracing means you're getting contact information. Therefore, go to the contacts page to view your results. So here in the contacts area, bottom left is where you will see all your results in alphabetical order. Right now, the list that we skip traced is currently processing, but in a few moments, it's going to look like the list right below it where it says complete and the phone numbers and emails will be provided and we'll even provide DNC numbers for you at no additional cost. So you'll know who doesn't want to be called and who does. Yeah. And I'm, I, I you're, you work at PropStream, so you probably can't say this, but I'm going to say this. If it's got a DNC next to it, I'm still going to call them. I don't know. <laughs> I make the phone calls um, and have conversations with people. And not uh, a lot of these people, they, if you are just calling them, at, let's say they have a bunch of properties and you're calling up and your first thing is, hey, I'm a young investor. I'm trying to find out more about real estate investing. You're not even trying to call them just to buy a property from them. You're calling them to try and get information, learn more from them. A lot of these people are okay with having these conversations. So that's my two cents. I don't know how much, uh, you know, you can't really say that, but um you know, that's, oh, yeah. uh, that's I mean, my, the only thing I could say is we give you the numbers. You guys are paying for the numbers, right? Uh, we're telling you who is on the DNC or not. And to Matt's point, we're going to leave it up to you guys, whether you call or not, that's on you guys, but uh, right. that's it when it comes to skip tracing. And then once your results come in, you guys will be able to export them or take it over to our campaign section to send postcards and emails if you need to. But Matt, yeah. that's the skip tracing and prop stream. You guys take full advantage of it. What used to take weeks, literally weeks, go to the county, grab a list, yeah. then knock on some doors is now minutes. 10, 15 minutes uh, in right. PropStream. You build a list, skip trace it, and you can start calling right away. Right. And you saw that list, guys. It, it was 16 
dollars just to pull 160 contacts. And what that looks like to me is opportunity. I just paid $16 mm. for 160 different opportunities to get a property. If you even get one property out of that, odds are you could get a, a bunch of leads out of that. But if you get one property out of that, I bet you that property makes you over probably over $20,000. So $16 versus your $20,000 that you could get out of that. I'm not guaranteeing that guys, but this is what happens when you start making these phone calls, you get good at having these phone calls and you put your money on the line to give yourself opportunity to succeed. So Burton really yeah. appreciate you diving into that, showing the people how to bring opportunities to themselves. And uh, yeah, man, thank you for, for doing all these teachings with us. I'm sure we'll have more in the future and, for everyone listening, get get PropStream. There is a link in the description. You get a solid discount on this. You also get a uh, a seven day free trial with PropStream, and that's not something that they really give out. So uh, hop onto that link, give it a try, sign up, and I promise you, you will not regret it. So Burton, really appreciate having you on today, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Have a good one, everybody. Peace, guys.